this is the look for this video. It's more of a natural glam look. I tried to achieve it. I was very inspired because, I don't know, I just was like, hmm, a lot of people like that natural but not so natural look, so I'm going to do that. And so that's what I did. And uh, um, since summer is kind of coming up, I wanted to do something with a lot of highlighting, um, giving your face that sun kiss kind of look. So that's what I wanted to do with you guys today. And so this is the look. You know, hella glowy and stuff. And if you want to learn how to do this kind of look or just watch if you just love me, um, please continue watching. So first, what I am going to start out with is moisturizing my face. And then put some moisturizer on to not get that dry skin, you know? I'm using my oil-free acne moisturizer from Neutrogena. Pink grapefruit. Hello. After that, what I'm going to do is set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Seriously. Okay. Anyways. After that. Now we're going to put this mini Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Primer on. Oh yeah. So, after that, I am going to conceal all my redness. You don't want any of your rednesses to show any of your flaws, maybe you got some pimples or not. So I'm going to take my go-to concealer, the Fit Me Concealer in San Sable, Sable, the number 20. And I'm just going to put it under my dark circles. I'm not going to put a lot. And I'm going to take my beauty blender. I'm just going to blend all of this out till it doesn't show anymore. I'm going to take my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation and concealer in the color number 6 Sand Beige. Okay, just want to put it everywhere. Okay, after this, I'm going to. Just put on more concealer. So we're going to take the Fit Me concealer again. And this is just to emphasize the highlighted areas. That's what we're going for. Dewy, glowy, dewy, glowy, dewy. Okay, so we're just going to make not a full triangle because like I said, we're not beating our faces today. We are just glowing today. I'm going to put this on my nose. Because I want to have a nose, so it's gonna make it look like I kind of have a nose, and some on my chin. So this is where I like to put my stuff. Um, and maybe some on right here because it just when we kind of contour is contours contour ish. It will just make it pop out more. So, yeah. And we're just going to blend this out with a beauty blender again. Yes. After you got everything blended out, now we are going to set every, well, set where we just highlighted. I'm going to take my NYX HD Finishing Powder. Now we're just going to put it in the areas where just highlighted. I'm going to take another beauty blender and just kind of baking but not really. So just put on the areas where just highlighted. This is going to make our highlighted areas last longer throughout the day. 
and pop out more. Pop out. Anyways, okay, so while we wait for this to kind of bake, um, I'm going to use my NYC Sun and Bronze Browsing Powder in the color Sun and Brown. Oh wait, oh, Fire Island Tan. So this, this is what it looks like. And we're just going to use this brush. And we're just going to bronze our way while we wait for this to bake. So where we have not highlighted and you want to um, kind of sculpt it in a way. But we're not contouring with this. We're just making that like sun kiss kind of look. Like, wow, did you go tanning? Kind of look, but not really. So I'm just going to put it in the areas where... Our shadows would be on like if you were to take a picture like your forehead you know especially if you got a big forehead kind of wanna put a lot on not, <laughs> not a lot but try to make it toned down a little bit you see that you see that looks like the Sun has kissed me after that I'm going to take my tart I forgot what this one's called. Park Ave Princess. That's the color, I believe. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. And we're going to use this to contour, making it a little bit darker. To give you that kind of look. Okay, and then, you know, a little bit. On, or maybe a lot if you prefer to have a lot on your forehead. I prefer a lot because my forehead big. So I got a big forehead. So I'm going to take this little uh, fluffy brush and I'm just going to you can contour your nose however you like but this is how I like to do it. Just I kind of add a lot on the bottom making this V shape and then just adding it to the sides and just bringing it up we're still using the tort the tart pa uh, pa bronzer now we can dust off dust off the excess powder so we don't look like a ghost, you know what I'm saying? So, on our nose, it was on our forehead. So now, we can highlight. We're going to take this Becca highlighter in the color Champagne Pop. Yes. And then we're just going to... on top of where we put our bronzer and where we contour just and we also want to add it to the tip of our nose and down the bridge and maybe some on well. I'm going to add this Bella Pierre Cosmetics blush in the color Desert Rose. Okay, so we're going to use this brush for it. And then we're going to add it to the apples of our cheeks. Lightly. I'm going to start off doing my eyebrows first. So I'm going to obviously use my go-to Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And I'm going to use my angled brow brush. And I'm going to take a an eyebrow 
tamer. We don't really want our eyebrows to be fleeky deaky in this look. And we're going to highlight underneath with my same concealer, my Fit Me concealer. And what I like to do is just dab a little bit like right here and dab a little bit right here. And I'm going to take a smaller kind of like pointed angle but not really angled brush and just um, start shaping underneath my eyebrow and then blending it. I'm going to put um, a base on my eye. Set it. So just I'm using my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. The color beige. And I'm just setting up the concealer under my eyebrows and the base. I'm just going to use this um, eyeshadow palette, the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics. And I'm just going to use this color called Cover. I'm going to use this fluffy brush and just we're just going to add it all over we're going to use this um, e.l.f. flawless eyeshadow little palette thing and in the the palette itself is called the golden goddess I'm going to use this little flat brush and we're just going to use that color on top just doesn't really have to be precise because it just really doesn't I'm just literally adding it where we just put the color cover on so basically everywhere we're going to take that same fluffy brush and just blend out the edges up here so it won't be that harsh. I'm going to add this, uh, I don't know how to say that, Tristique um, eyeshadow, this mini eyeshadow crayon. So I'm going to add it to my eyebrow. And I'm also going to add it to the inner corners. And I'm also going to add to the waterline. As long as you have a pointy kind of brush, just want to take this color again and just add it underneath our waterline. After that, I'm going to curl the eyelashes. And I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Sensation Sensational Mascara. And uh obviously put mascara on. After the upper mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic Carmen Black mascara. And what I like about this mascara is that it's it's really easy to use for your bottom lashes because of how small the brush is. Also, I mean, it's really just a great product in general because I feel like it really does extend the, like your eyelashes even though I don't have any. So we're just going to add it to the bottom lashes. I'm going to be adding my fake eyelashes. See the big difference? eyelashes make they really make a big difference and now to the lips we're going to be using the NYX NYX soft matte lip cream um, in the color Abu Dhabi just you know. and I'm going to add a little bit more of another uh, NYX matte lip cream it's called Stockholm 
So I'm going to be adding this in um, kind of like the middle of the center of my lips. And now we are just going to set off the face, set the face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray. Hopefully it does not point up again. refreshing so this is a final look I hope you really enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't yet please subscribe I hope you like this video thank you for watching guys Mwah. just